On the Vikings Lakes campus in Egan, players are preparing for game day. Bro, I'm literally hard carrying you right now. This is Minnesota Rocker, a new esports team part of the Call of Duty League. Kill confirmed. They're one day away from the league's launch and the team's debut. So leading up to the event, our training is uh, pretty extreme. I pretty much wake up, eat, and by the time I uh, come back home, it's ready for bed. You know, so it's 12 hours a day, 12 to 14 hours by the time we go over our uh, film and scrim all the other teams. I got snake shotted for the L. Justin Fargo Palmer, who goes by the alias Silly, is one of seven players on the Minnesota Rocker team. Their sole focus is playing Call of Duty. They're incredibly serious professionals and incredibly dedicated to their craft. If you want to be the best at anything, you have to work at it, and these guys are very dedicated, and that's what they do. Brett Diamond, COO of Minnesota Rocker and Wise Ventures Esports, says the team aims to build a fan base in the region. It was fundamental to that, that we have the players living here, that we have the players being a part of this community. And part of that includes an 11,000 square foot facility, the team's headquarters. These are home stations. These are the way stations for the teams that I want to come practice against us. From practice space to locker rooms with places to sleep. If we end up getting snowed in or something, this is like our go-to. Is it unique to have a facility like this? It is. There's a handful of esports organizations that have built their own facilities. Uh, for us, we think this is, you know, this is, if not the best, pretty close to it. Certainly one of the top few. It's part of a movement in esports as the business model evolves in a now billion dollar industry. And the way we view it as a team and as an organization is that esports is the next evolution of sports and entertainment. And there are more and more eyeballs on it every day. The numbers are real. The audience is real. That audience will be at the Minneapolis Armory starting Friday for the Call of Duty League launch. Nearly 10,000 people are expected to come out during the three days it's here. We will have enormous video boards. A, a lot of production is going into this. The way it's set up, you'll have the two teams facing off on the stage. Um, the action is projected on a, on a giant video board that we've brought in above there. We have a 75 inch TV. We have a nice little theater room going. This is where we're going to go over film. 12 teams will be competing, nine from the U.S. It'll feature some of the greatest Call of Duty players in the world. Yeah. Yeah. My teammate in the other room, Assault, he is, uh, me and him won the world championship in 2018, so uh, I brought him back on this team with me. All right, let's smoke him, let's smoke him bad. Just for this event, Minnesota Rocker has been practicing for the last three months. It'll be their very first matches as a team. We want to give anyone that has an interest the chance to come out and be a fan. So this weekend is the launch of the season, and after that, other teams will have the chance to host in their cities. So really, each city will end up hosting um, two times during the season. And then a smaller version of what we'll see this weekend will happen in Minnesota on May 9th and 10th, but we don't know where that's going to be yet. You know, for people who might be out there like poo-pooing this whole thing, it's, it's really become a big deal. A lot yeah. of these folks make a good living doing this. Yes, so, and very competitive. Absolutely. Yeah. So they say, you know, if you can be good at a sport, why can't you be good at playing that sport? In right. It was fascinating and incredible to look at their facility as well. Yeah. Well, good for them. Yeah. And interesting. Let's expose yourself to new things with this job every day, don't I we? I know. And good luck to them <laughs> this weekend. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Heidi. Appreciate yep. it. And if you're interested, the Call of Duty League launch is at the Minneapolis Armory Friday through Sunday. You can buy tickets at rockettickets.gg. Take note of that. It's .gg. Prices range from $25 for standing room only all the way up to $150 bucks if you want to get the VIP treatment.